Full gate number one now, regards to Broadway now, circling Bay, sprinting away from the 1,000 metre marker. Regards to Broadway is right there. Saland is well placed. Minnie the Minx is also in a good position. Ginger Biscuits in the yellow. Kia Kara. Sorbonne has the cheek pieces. Then comes private number La Gitano. They are followed by Miss Valicious. Then comes Heart of Winter. And Tom Bazana's the trailer about seven or eight lengths first to last. They move to the 600 metre marker now. And the leader regards to Broadway. Trying to go from gun to tape. Ginger Biscuits in the yellow. Down the inside Salander. Then Minnie the Minx. Da towards the inside, Miss Valicious. Kia Kyra comes out for a run. Sorbonne's going through down the inside. Regards to Broadway. Ginger Biscuit. Salander down the inside. Then Minnie the Minx. Regards to Broadway now being asked to run. Ginger Biscuit's trying to put on the pressure. Salander's a runner. Miss Valicious is coming home well. Regards to Broadway. Flat to the board from Salander. And regards to Broadway. Won it. Miss Valicious second. Salander third. And then Ginger Biscuit. Number 12, regards to Broadway, the Var Philly, Anton Marcus, went from gun to tape, was out in a swish, wins it by a length. Miss Valicious, also a first-timer from the Paul Gatsby yard, also by Var, runs into second position, third to Salando, and that is in third position, Ginger Biscuit, number seven, runs into fourth, then Minnie the Mink, Sorbonne, Kia Kyra, further back is La Gitano. we'll take a look at that head-on shortly. And you'll see the white nose band in the middle of the track, and it's regards to Broadway. Continues to go here from Clava Flay, Dennis Bosch, Anton Marcus, and on the left, Salander, Ginger Biscuit, and Miss Valicious is on the extreme left hand side. Starts to run a nice race now, but number 12, regards to Broadway. Toad favourite at 290 wins it, and number 11 shows 280 a place in second. Miss Valicious. Until the running of the third race, back to the studio. There we go, number 12, regards to Broadway, the daughter of Vaughan, out of the Jet Master Mayor, bred by Clava. Arthur, thanks very much for staying and talking to us quickly. Uh, sparkling debut. Yo, no, nice, Philly Paul. Got more moves than a Mongolian contortionist, though. <laughs> Mongolian, eh? <laughs> Mongolian contortionist, yes. So I'm just glad that, that it's out the way because it was really touch and go with the eye monitor rider. Which is, yeah, she's very erratic. But she's, she's got a lot of ability, Paul, you know. But as you can see, you know, I didn't believe she was fully wound up today. Dennis couldn't get her fully wound up, you know, because, because of her antics. But it's good to have one on the board, Paul. Yeah, looks like I could have a couple today. Poor competitive card. Obviously, we're hoping Orchin King reproduces his last run. Um, chill, proverbial place, get a try is very, very hard, you know. Uh, I hope that I'm wrong, but he had a very, very hard race here a week ago, you know. Craig tells me he's doing well. So maybe just exercise a bit of caution, though. And uh, I thought that was it, Paul. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Lovely. Well done, Den. Lovely stuff. I didn't notice the shoes. I didn't, then I would have realized you fancied this. <laughs> but no, nice for GK and his partner. Yeah, you know, Paul, they put such a lot of money into the yard, you know. And they're learning now a little bit about racing. Jerry's taking him a while. He's, uh, slow. he's not, not quick. Yeah, he's not quick. And uh, he was slow on the soccer field, you told me. Left back. <laughs> In the change room. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they've bought some nice horses, Paul. You know, yeah. good pedigree horses. This is a nice filly, Paul. Yeah. But she's a tendency to be a bit hot in the pens, so we need to reschool her and, and, and really put her mind in those pens because uh, other than that, she's uh, she won't race, you know. She's yeah. she's going to perform, but I think there's there's something to come. I like yeah. us, Philly. Anything else to come from your side, then? Paul, one in the first that got uh, a vi in the pens, I don't know, and uh, the second race, that's it. It's a Walt Disney movie, and you're going to answer it. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. And well done to Sherwin. He's in uh, Australia. Lovely. He's phoned me now. And well done to Terry, and thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Lovely. Thanks. Terry, come have a chat. Well done, Terry. You've got some nice horses. You've got that very good jet master who's, who's back home with Dan, who's a very good horse, and, and, uh, and then, uh, now an unbeaten horse. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, jet's coming along nicely with a little bit of hiccups. This one, I think we're going to have to back off a little bit. Thanks to Coverfly, thanks to Dan. You know, things are starting to turn good for the stable, which is good. 
Very important this time of the year, we hang on in there. And a couple of um, nice races coming up maybe in November, December, we'll look forward to it. Did you see the Scottish result last night? Paul, I didn't. What was the score? You won. You won oh. two nothing. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Thanks, Paulie. Much obliged. Well Thanks, done, sir. Jerry. Thanks. Here we go. There we go. Well done, the Clover Fly. Well done, Dennis Bosch. And then ask for Arthur to stay and talk with us. A very hot horse, he says, but very talented. And uh, keep an eye on the run-up. Miss Valicious really eating up the turf as well.